at like the average 18, 19, and I get that. But, you know, for our audience who are a little bit, let's say they graduated, they have their bachelor's degree undergrad, and they work maybe one, two, three years or a few years. And so the question comes up, hey, I realize now after even working a little bit, you know, for me even to get a, you know, a job or I don't want to even call it, like improve my career, right? At a level that I can be recognized internationally, maybe actually work with other companies that are not even in my own country. Maybe they're in surrounding regions that they have a relationship with, you know, US or Europe, and they would appreciate and prefer maybe somebody who has a US, you know, degree, right? And I don't, and I've, you know, I'm not an AT, so I've worked. So I, you know, my current job, I know I'm working. However, for me to go to the next level, this is, I'm not saying it's a must, but it's going to help me a lot, right? How do I prove my ties? I'm 28. I've been working a little bit. Yes, I'm not married, but I have my family back home. I'm, you know, okay financially here. So how do I, I'm not saying to answer that to say like, how do you prove it? But like, do you see a problem or do you see, you know, is it the same thing you would point out preparation and explaining your strategy to the officer as to why you're doing this? That would be helpful. Yeah, I will. Uh, that's a very good question. And there are people who go back who are, you know, non-traditional undergraduates and, you know, some go for graduate school and everything. And Ashkan, you know, this we're working with students every day. People who are married, people who are older, people who are working full time and are trying to study, those tend to be very serious students yes. because yes. they're spending probably their own money, first of all, okay? And second of all, they um, are kind of more or less out of that, hey, let me just, you know, wing it and see what happens period of their life. You know, they're, they're making a plan to try to get to certain goals, okay? Yeah. Some people are like that from the age of 18. You know, some people are. So and 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 if you if they are, that's great. And if they have a plan, but older people in their later 20s, 30s, they may be married, they may not, they may be working full time, they may not. But in general, they do come under the you know category of they can show some ties. Sure. They can show some reason. The other thing that we didn't talk about yet, which is very helpful, is if they have other visas, other travel. In other words, if this student visa application to go to the United States is literally the first time they've ever left their country. Yeah. Okay. That is much more likely to be interpreted as immigrant intent than, well, I went to this country, I went to that country, and pref preferably, and I'm not saying how to shape your travel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if it's a country where it's a little bit challenging to get a visa. Yeah. Okay. So, for yeah. example, if someone has a Schengen visa, all right, and then they apply for a U.S. visa, obviously, if this person was just desperately trying to get out of their home country and go wherever and get married or find a job, they could have done that on their Schengen visa or on, in the other visits that they've had. But older, someone in their tw late 20s, 30s is expected, if they've never left their country and they have no previous travel, that's, yeah. not, that's not particularly helpful. So you want to if at all possible, again, this is not what to do with their lives. I mean, if they haven't traveled and they don't want to travel, that's fine. But convincing a consular officer that after you've never traveled at all and you're 30 or yeah. 35, yeah. and this is the first time you ever want to leave your country is to go to the United States to study yeah. is a lot harder to do than if you've had six, seven trips, even if they're not, you know, necessarily to, you know, Western Europe or something. But at least you've traveled a bit, you know, at least you have some experience, you're a bit more mature and you, you have some sense of what it's going to be like yeah. to be in another country. Because, you know, I mean, your clientele, your your customers are students, your college students. Hardest transition of my life, of my life, was my first year away in college, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're doing this, not only is it their first year away from home in college, they're in another hemisphere. Yeah. Right. So another country that many of them don't speak the language particularly well. And so, you know, you want to give the consular officer every confidence that you're the kind of person that is going to have the resilience, all right, and the drive and is serious to go to the other side of the planet, learn the language, if you need to learn the language, compete in a college environment, not go out every night having fun, yep. all right, yep. maybe every other night, but not every yep. night. And serious, take your studies seriously. That's what you're trying to do. It's, and so, you know, the older people have a little bit easier time because they're usually a little bit further along with their life plans. They're more serious. They have some, you know, more that they can document as far as ties. So for them is a little bit higher standard of that they're judged by uh, for study. 
than uh, someone who's just starting out, you know, 18, 19. They're not really expected to own property, be yeah. married with children. So um, it's it, it does vary a little bit, but that point I mentioned is another thing. If people have some previous travel, that's a helpful that's a helpful item for for the conference.